Our concept of commercialization vectors and subvectors is based on a mesoeconomic treatment which analyzes the key drivers and forces which can affect the commercialization journey for a firm. Uh, we honed in on the mesoeconomic approach because we realized that macroeconomic thinking and microeconomic thinking provided very little guidance in terms of understanding the real forces which shape the trajectory of a business. Our commercialization vectors draw on uh, Schumpeter's early work on mesoeconomic vectors, uh, which uh, surprisingly has had little interest from mainstream economists over the last few decades. We also hope that our work will rehabilitate an understanding of uh, mesoeconomic factors, uh, which may be of broader use uh, in thinking about um, the theory of the firm. We define 12 commercialization vectors. Uh, four are what we define as external vectors, which effectively uh, determine the external environment which can shape the growth of a firm. And not surprisingly, these cover the type of market space, uh, the type of customers, so defining customers, uh, they cover the shaping, outline shaping of a proposition um, which reflects competition, regulation and market space criteria. And finally, they cover issues around distribution, marketing and sales. The six internal vectors are the vectors, the levers that can actually be pulled by the companies themselves. So they cover financial capital, which re reflects what the impact of investment can be. Uh, human capital, which covers teams, people, leadership. Uh, they cover intellectual property, which is the inherent value of whatever you've got and how it can be used and protected. The fourth of the internal vectors uh, covers technology uh, development and technology deployment which really describes the choices people make in terms of how their technology is taken to market. The fifth covers the, the very interesting area around the synthesis of new products and services. Um, technologies don't just take themselves to market, they have to be encapsulated and packaged into products and services. So that fifth vector describes the process of how the synthesis works. And finally, the sixth internal vector covers manufacturing, how things are built and put together before they go to market. In addition to the four external vectors and the six internal vectors, we have defined two composite vectors which effectively cover the choices that firms make in order to succeed. The first of those is commercialization strategy. Clearly firms will make different choices about the relative importance of the internal and external vectors and the commercialization strategy vector covers that. Um, and that is a qualitative decision-making process. And then the second composite vector is the business model vector, which reflects how those qualitative decisions are turned into quantitative judgments about how the firm will earn money, what, how the costs will be allocated, etc. These 12 mesoeconomic vectors um, are further subdivided into a number of sub-vectors which provide the basis for detailed analysis and uh, decision-making. Um, and so in total, in camels, tigers and unicorns, we cover about 50 sub-vectors grouped into these 12 major mesoeconomic vectors.